Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I just wanted to make a quick one on showing you how you can set up Tiddly Wiki, which is just a lightweight self-hosted uh, Wikipedia site that you can run yourself. Uh, I'm going to be installing this via Docker on my Raspberry Pi as per usual like I do a lot of things. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So if we come to this Docker hub page here, we can see the commands to be able to run this. And what we need to do is first off make a directory and then just run this command. So again, just coming back to it, it's, as you can see here, it's pretty much like a nice little lightweight uh, Wikipedia you can run and just, you know, write content, share it if you want. Uh, you can put authentication around it, like username and password. But I'm gonna have mine open, just internal use. So that's how I'm going to have it. Uh, so without further ado, let's just jump into it. So again, you can run this top command here if you want, but you won't have any uh, local storage. So um, once you blow away your Docker container, you won't have any of your saved posts. So what you really want to do is set it up so you have a volume uh, for all your work. Right, so what you want to do, pretty much um, wherever you want to run this, if you're running this on a Raspberry Pi, sweet. If you're running it wherever, awesome as well. But that's where I'm going to be running mine. So first off, what we want to do is just make a directory. So we can see it here, make directory, uh, and we're just calling it uh, tiddly wiki. Done. And then we are going to run this command here. So if I paste this in, I'll just show you what it's doing. Uh, I also need to run this under pseudo privileges. So just get... what we're doing is that we're running a Docker run and we're saying that we want the ports on, um, on the container mapped to our external of port 8080 which is cool uh it's going to continue running unless we've forced it to stop uh the name of the wiki will just be called my wiki feel free to change that to whatever you would like and we're saying that the where it can store the volume where it's going to store all the files for tiddly wiki is going to be under our local path of tiddly wiki and then on the container it's going to be mapped uh here under the var lib tiddly wiki and then we're using this docker container image here right and essentially all we need to do is hit enter and it's going to look locally for our image couldn't find it makes sense and now it's going to docker hub and it's going to pull down that image for us and then it's going to start our container uh, it's pulled that and we can assume it's running uh, let me just make this a bit bigger so we can see the text clear that if we do sudo uh, docker container ls hyphen a list of all my containers and we can see that it is running it was created 14 seconds ago and it's been up for 12 seconds so that's cool so essentially we should be able to just try hit our raspberry pi's ip address uh whatever wherever you're running this if you're running this on your local pc then you can just run the local host port uh, and try to connect to it so let's try hit our raspberry pi on port uh, 8080 all right hit enter and we can see we now have hit Wiki. so let me just make this a bit bigger mm -mm -mm. And there we go so it's all up and running it's really straightforward and really simple right so the way this works is that it's got a little get started page on the left so feel free to read that on your one um but essentially all you're going to do i'm just going to close that and we can click plus to make a new post we can call this um hmm, what should we call this let's just call this uh hello world we can add tags so if you're familiar, familiar with documentation tags you can add tags to things that fit a category and then you can look for all those tags so let's say um i was saying that all of myself posted so i'm going to add a self-hosted tag so any documentation that is self-hosted i can then find later and then what we can do is go hello well this is my first post right and now if you want to add content like images and stuff like that so if you click here you'll see there's no images here but if we change directory into our tiddly tiddly wiki and ls and then change directory into my wiki ls then into tiddlers ls you see that we have pretty much nothing in here right which makes sense because our wiki is pretty empty uh so there's a few ways you can get images in here uh, what i like to do just because it's on my raspberry pi and transferring images uh, is a bit of a pain but you can do is straight up just copy like click and drag images from your pc so i drop an image here and import uh, i've now added this image uh, so if i 
want to go save it we can see that this image has been added uh, straight from my desktop and if we do an ls here we can see that the image has been actually just uploaded so that's a quick and easy way to get images into um, your wiki page and now you can just keep adding stuff um, we can go into settings and we can tweak all of this so like the title subtitle all of that good stuff that you would like to change you can change it all here uh, there's uh, themes so I'm assuming you can also download themes from um, online people would have made all sorts of themes uh, there's plugins that you can get and there's an option for getting more plugins and you can find all the shortcuts and all the just general documentation so this is how it's all set up and this is just a great way to share information um, maybe just for yourself documentation wise uh, you would just want something nice and lightweight and it's all just running on a simple little container uh, on my Raspberry Pi so that's pretty much it and how to set up tiddly wiki uh, very short video only seven minutes <laughs> but yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed it any questions about this or you'd like to see more specifics around this like adding plugins and stuff more than happy to do that uh, but we'll see how this video goes first cheers everyone and I'll see you in the next one bye